So there were a couple things that I touched on. One is to give a little background on who we are at the ATA. And it's really very fun to represent over 400 organizations that are committed to the vision that people should get care where and when they need it. And then when they do, they know it's safe, effective, and appropriate while enabling clinicians to do more good for more people. The second thing I touched on was that we're really here to deliver health. It's not about technology, it's about technology-enabled services. And so we thought that was an important thing. The third is that we really saw a lot of collaboration with our partners from the Global Health Connector, from ECH Alliance, and really saw a lot of innovation that occurred as well. So it was very, very exciting. Yeah, I think it's really important to remember that what's happened for all of us around the world is that consumers have tasted the forbidden fruit. That's telehealth. And they love it. And so I think that's going to stick. So there are a couple of things that have changed and will continue to change. First of all is that we continue to have issues of usability to make it as easy as possible for consumers. And it's still not as easy as it could be. And I think we're going to get smarter and better about that in terms of the user experience and the user design. The second thing is that I think we will see a lot of use of technology to eliminate disparities and inequities that have occurred and continue to occur in health in the US and around the world. The third is that I think we're going to see problems of interoperability get smoothed out over time. It's been a long time in coming, but I think it'll get better. And then finally, I just think this idea of enabling consumers to do more for themselves when they want to, the whole idea is that equity means getting people care where and when they need it, regardless of race, place, circumstance. And that's really what we're all about collectively. There's a lot to come. So you think of how um, many people just view digital health or telehealth as synchronous communication, what you do with FaceTime on your phone. But that's only a small slice of it. It's asynchronous, it's chat, it's remote monitoring, it's AI, it's all sorts of sectors that are coming together. And really, I think we're just at the beginning. Well, there's so much going on. I think that what is really impressive, again, is the level of innovation and collaboration that occurred during the pandemic. The fact that people in the UK would communicate so quickly and readily on WhatsApp with their colleagues in the US, that practices, that guidelines were changing every day, practically, it seems. And we were using technology to capture that and disseminate the good word. So that, to me, is most heartening. So there are a lot of benefits for us. One is a reminder that our issues and challenges are not just US focused. These are worldwide issues. And so that's a great reminder. The second is with global problems, with global challenges, it requires a global response. So the idea of collaborating with others is really important and recognizing, as I talked about during the presentation today, Africa, frog leaped, you know, leapfrogged a whole level of development with computers. They just went straight to their mobile phones and that was awesome. And what they learned and what worked with that, I mean, those are the kind of things that we can learn from each other. It's a benefit that we're able to offer, offer our members to participate in global discussions and global work. That's something they're not going to get anywhere else. And it's impactful. This is not a group of people who get together to just listen to each other. They're a group of people who get together to make a difference in their own countries and around the world. And that means a lot to everyone. So that's why it's so important to have partners like ECH Alliance and Global Health Connector. It's enormous. I think that's the impression. And secondly, I think they should give out roller skates to everybody who's here. And do away with shoes.